Hey guys, welcome back to Savvy Charmed Life. I'm Tracy, and today we're going to do a little bit of a clean out my car, clean my car slash car tour with me because I am going to be heading on a beach trip with my mom and my sister this coming Sunday, just a few days. So oh, I'll be driving them. So I just wanted to make sure my car is nice and cleaned out and people can fit as well as plenty of luggage and that it's clean. So um, come along with me. Okay guys, so um, I already cleaned out like the majority of like the trash that was in my car. Um, I'll kind of show you what I do with trash, um, but late, I'll show you that later. Um, but first we're going to go to Starbucks. It's like almost 11 o'clock. At least I think I want to go to Starbucks. Technically I could go get lunch. I don't know. Like I slept really late because I went to bed really late and I didn't really I didn't actually eat anything this morning yet. Um, I just pretty much got ready to like do this, but I need food and I'm not sure what kind of food I want. Um, but uh, so first we're gonna try to go get food and then we're gonna go to a car wash and get my car washed and vacuumed out. And then we're probably gonna come back to the parking garage at my, um, where I live and finish like wiping the surfaces down. And then I'll give you guys like a little bit of a tour of how my car is organized and decorated. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I ended up getting Starbucks. Hey guys, so I decided to pull into the Target parking lot, which suddenly, like, I have a memory of, um, a memory of an SNL video I saw like ages ago um I think it was like maybe during like the first Trump election I can't remember but basically it was like a video about like coming to Starbucks and just like like coming home for the holidays and just coming to Starbucks and like sitting in the parking lot because you don't want to go home um and then it was like, and then when you're tired of sitting in the parking lot contemplating things, just go into start go into Target and wander the aisles. Like that's what we're here for. <laughs> then here I am sitting in the Target um, parking lot. And I also had a memory because like years ago, it was maybe four or five years ago. The first time I think it was the first time I went to California for the for the National Braille Challenge. But um, me and my, my mom went with me. We went to LA first for the Braille Challenge, and then we drove to Fresno to visit her sister and her sister's husband. Um, and as much as I enjoyed spending time with them as family, like they were driving me like insane. And I remember being like, "Oh, I've got to go get some things." <laughs> and I drove. I left and like went and found the Target in Fresno, California, and like. I really just went there to get like creamer because she didn't have any creamer for coffee. I really just went to get a creamer for coffee. But I just like wandered the aisles of Target killing time as much as possible before I had to go back to their house. Oh, it's that horrible. Have you guys ever done that? Have you ever come up with an excuse to like disappear for a little while just to like get away? Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so I'm going to eat my breakfast in the Starbucks, in the Target, Starbucks, Target parking lot. I thought I'd show you how yummy this sandwich looks. So it's like egg yolk, kind of like a, just like a patty of egg and then uh, bacon. And then it's got like Gouda cheese melted and then it's on this like ciabatta bun. I mean, doesn't that look just like delicious? So I'm going to eat my breakfast. Okay guys, so while I'm finishing my coffee really quick, I thought I would tell you about my car very quickly. Um, maybe my car history. Um, but yeah, so I am a Honda girl through and through. Um, when I was like younger, I dreamed of having a Honda. I think I told you guys this before, maybe in another video, but I used to think Honda was like a luxury car. <laughs> um, but I know it's not now, but, um, I always dreamed of having a Honda. Um, and so my first car ever when I was, you know, like 17, when my dad bought me a car, it probably cost like $500. It was a total junker. We had to get it fixed like a thousand times before it would even pass the emissions test. But it was like a 
early 80s Chevrolet Cavalier if I can find a picture that's similar to what it looks like it was blue I'll put it here so that was my first car it was a Chevrolet Cavalier and it stalled at every light and like broke down a lot and, but it it served its purpose and I actually liked that car I asked my dad if I could drive it to college my freshman year and he was like that car is not gonna make it <laughs> through Atlanta uh, only my college was like two hours away like in northeast Georgia um and my dad was like no you're not taking that car to college um so then I didn't have a car for a couple of years and then for like two summers straight I saved money so that I could buy a car before my junior year of college so um and I finally got my first Honda so I got like a nine I think it was like a 1991 Honda Accord and this was like 2001 so it was like a decade old Honda Accord we bought it privately like I remember my dad like counting out cash on like <laughs> the hood of this car um and this like down on this street somewhere in Atlanta and I'm thinking anybody driving by is probably thinking we're doing something super shady <laughs> um counting out you know twenty dollar bills in the hood of this car um but yeah so that was my first Honda in it served me well like my last two years of college like I think my first year like working after I graduated um but then the transmission died and I had to trade it in and I got this like really old Acura Legend but it was like very like high end I think it was like a 1990 maybe black black leather interior super fancy for like the year it came out Acura Legend um and it I had it for like a couple years and then the air conditioner died on me um and instead of getting like the air conditioner fixed I decided to just sell it privately so I sold that to like this mom and for her teenage boy or teenage son or something and then I bought my first Civic um from CarMax um right after I got my first teaching job um and I had that little it was like Civics used to be very small so I had this little bitty Civic um and that was like the car that me and my husband had when we first got married but yeah so I had that Civic for a full five or six years I think um until the loan was paid off and then I traded it in and got a Camry. For whatever reason, I decided to take a chance on like a different brand of car. But I only had the Camry for like a couple of years before I traded it in and got my, started leasing for the first time. So I think I traded it in and got, I think it was a Honda Accord again, but it was like a new Honda Accord because I leased. Um, and then I had that for like three years like I say three years like most of my leases usually like last more about like two and a half to three because they usually want me to bring them in early and trade them in so I had a Honda Accord you know for about two to three years and then I tried a Honda CRV for two to three years but the Honda CRV was too big for me I just don't like a big SUV feel I like the feel of driving a sedan um and then I got a Civic hatchback um, which I really liked because it really had that sporty feel of driving like a sedan, but it had the trunk, a hatchback trunk that opened up because I hate the feel of like, like you're falling into your trunk, like looking for things. And as a teacher who's itinerant, that has lots and lots of equipment, like I keep a lot of things stored in my trunk and I would literally have to like practically crawl into my trunk to look for things, you know, when I had the Accord. So I really wanted a trunk that like opened like a hatchback so that I could easily see everything and get things out of my trunk easily. Um, and then after the Civic hatchback, that was the last car I had before this current car. Um, I ended up getting an HRV, um, which I am in love with <laughs> I love the HRV please Honda do not get rid of HRVs like just keep making them better like it really truly is like the perfect like blend between the feel of driving a sedan and the functionality and practicality of having an SUV so I just absolutely love my Honda HRV and they gave me like a really good deal because I've been leasing for like a decade from Honda like I have like you know a really good history of paying my my you know, payments on time and like I have a really good relationship with Honda Financial so um, I wanted Apple CarPlay in this car um, so I needed at least like the mid-level trim but all they had available on the lot was two of the base level trim that didn't have Apple CarPlay and then one at the like high trim 
I can't remember what it's called. Um, and so instead of like forcing me to get a low level trim or forcing me to like have to give in and just get another Civic, they gave me the high trim for like the mid-level trim price, if that makes sense. Um, so it has leather seats and like the seats are heated in the front. Um, it's got power everything except it doesn't have power seats. Um, there's like a few things that I had in my Civic at the low level that I don't have at the high level in an HRV, which doesn't make any sense to me. Like, like in my Civic, I could control other people's windows but I can't do that. Well, no, I can't. I can't control the windows. Yeah. Um, but they don't have like the auto window on the other side. Like I think I had auto window on the passenger side, but this one, it's only auto window on the driver's side. Um, there's like a few other things that I don't have that I had in my Civic. Um, but for the most part, like, it's really nice. Like I said, I've got the heated seats, they're leather, they're light leather, which I was nervous about. I didn't want, like, I remember my legend having black seats and having to put, like, a towel on the seat during the summer. I was worried about it being, like, crazy hot. Um, but, um, they said because it's, like, perforated, which I'll show you later when I'm showing you the tour, and um, they say it doesn't, like, it circulates air, and that it's lighter color, and I didn't believe them, but, you know, I'm, like, halfway through summer, and I haven't had to worry about the seats being crazy hot when I've gotten into them, like, they're scolding me or anything. I mean, they've been, like, warm-ish, but never, like, scolding hot where you're gonna, like, burn yourself if you don't have something on the seat when you get in. So, um... Yeah, so I love the car, but yeah, like I said, after we get it cleaned and shiny and beautiful, I will give you guys a tour. So let's head on over to the car wash. Waking up feeling like it's gone away. It's sunny up, but it just comes in waves. Okay, so one thing I just realized is that I need a detailing. Um there is dog hair in the trunk and in the front passenger seat that I could knock it up with the vacuum. So, and there's still some like crumbs and like crevices and stuff, but I got some of that like putty that you, you that you can buy that you've probably seen in videos. Um, that's supposed to get that stuff out, so we use that, which looks really gross, but um, we're gonna try it out. Um, but yeah. Um, dog hair definitely needed detailing, but that'll be for a letter date. This is good enough for this weekend. I was able to get most of the crumbs and stuff up. And like I said, we'll get the rest of the stuff that's like on the plasticky parts with either the duster or that like putty stuff. Um, and now we're gonna go through the, through the car wash. I do not know. Sorry if I'm not in the mood. I was paying for them to like hand clean the tires <laughs> but I think it just adds like a different thing when you go through the car wash you know like it presets it you know based on what you pay so there was no like hand washing other than like the part that they did like at the beginning you know where they like you know ran the where they like wash your front shield and like they add like soap all around like the body of your car that was like all they did um, but yeah, so now we're gonna, well, I need to go drop something off, donate a couple of things to, at Petco, because we have some, like, puppy pads we didn't use, and then I also have, like, one can of, like, blue soft dog food that I'm gonna donate that's been in my car for, like, a thousand years. So I'm gonna go donate that, and then I'm gonna go by the post office because I have a Poshmark order I need to put in the mail that I was supposed to do yesterday, and it just got crazy. Thank 
crazy the kinds of things okay so what i normally do for a trash bin is i just got this trash bin from walmart and i usually keep it like right here and then i have these just like scented trash bags that i refill it with and then when it fills up i take the trash bag out and I take it into our like trash chute inside of the house but because I don't need this um, for the car ride and I want to make sure I have enough room for like everybody and their stuff I'm actually gonna take this trash bin inside I'm also looking at what else I need to take inside so I'm gonna take in this coat this headband, I don't know why it's back here. And then I'm gonna leave the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna think I'm gonna take the dog. This is like a portable dog bowl, but maybe I'll leave that in. I think I'm gonna move this stuff to this bag. Okay, awesome. It looks like everything fits into this bag really well, and then I'm just gonna hang it up on this hook. So that's hanging on that hook. And then I'm gonna take some stuff in to the house that's been and the trash bin and then we're going to come back out and do some more cleaning all right y'all and fyi i still have the tag on here so this bin that i got at walmart is hefty brand 3.5 gallon or 13 liter and it fits perfectly in the floor of the back seat of my car and then i also got these bins i got like a couple of them i have one at work but these were a dollar at Walmart. So, and that was what I was storing that stuff in that I put into the bag. But yeah, so I just wanted you to know what kind of bin it is. If I can, if any of the stuff I have or similar items, I will link it below, of course. Okay, hey guys. So I am in my parking garage and we are going to uh, clean the inside of the car. But first I'm gonna show you guys what I have in my trunk. Okay, so you guys saw me move things already to this bag I'll show you so this is just like a lily pulitzer bag that you get when you buy something at the store and everything that I needed fit into the bag which is perfect so I have an extra lint roller I have one up front as well um, I have the backup of these tissues um, in here as well I'm gonna put one in the front of the car I get these from the natural life store I think um, but it came in a pack of three, so. And then here's that putty stuff that I'm gonna use. This is for the leather seats. This is for like the hard surfaces. I'm gonna use one of these dusters to dust the surfaces before I wipe them down. I think that's just no that's two All right, i'm just gonna get one out of the bag and then also down inside the bag i have some gallon size ziploc bags which never hurt to have i have a on the go dog bowl that pops like this we use it when we go to like state parks and hiking and that sort of thing and it also has like this so you can clip it on something and then yeah and then the extra tissues and i also have these like trivia cards that i use with my nieces and nephews when they're in the car with me but all of that fit into this bag okay and then on the other hook i have this first aid kit which i got the bag on amazon but i will show you guys what's inside and this literally just a little bit of everything that i thought we could possibly need so i have like every possible kind of like wrap band-aid size in here um so and i kind of try to order organize them by size left to right so like smallest medium large and then extra large back here and then i have like just like you know you know pads as well of different sizes like gauze pads and then i also have a couple of like gauze wraps in here as well and then i think i have tape in here somewhere I just don't know where it is okay and I also have some like just disposable masks in here I've got Benadryl, Sudafed, Imodium, an extra toothbrush um yeah 
Advil PM, some Tylenol, extra ibuprofen, um, some antibiotic cream. I've got some Tums in here. But yeah, here's the tape, the first aid tape, and some extra gauze pads that didn't fit in the back. And then some disinfectant wipes, um, mouthwash. I think that's everything I've got in here. Yeah, it looks like it. So yeah, all of that stuff fits into this nifty little first aid kit that I got on Amazon. Um, and then it hangs on this hook. And I got a bunch of these hooks. I can't remember how many came in a pack. But I got these on Amazon and they just have these little pink jewels on them. And I will link below, of course, where they are. But so this, like, I guess you call this, like, my cleaning bag. Like, little just, like, accessories. And then my first aid kit. Both hang at the back of the trunk. Okay, so I decided to turn on my car because it is crazy hot. And I'm already sweating. And I've barely been out here a couple of minutes. But yeah, so now we're going to work on dusting and wiping down the hard surfaces. And we're going to use that putty to, like, get into, like, some of the crevices. Um, clean down the seats a little bit with a leather cleaner. And then I'll give you guys a tour. I don't have a lot to say. Can't tell you something I do not know. Maybe just hold. Let me turn the air down. Do you actually hear me? Um, okay, so I finished wiping down all the surfaces the best that I could. Um, but yeah, so I will give you guys a little tour. Um, definitely, as you can tell, kind of went with a little bit of a pink theme, but I tried not to like overdo it. Um, and yeah, so I'll just show you. You guys can let me know if I like push the edge with the pink stuff <laughs> um yeah okay so 
All right, so I did get, let me turn on some lights so you guys can see a little better. I did get this little like pink glitter um, little sticker thing to put on my Honda. I got that on Etsy. Um, and then I have two of these, but I have the glitter, um, like the pink jeweled. These are from Amazon. Um, they go, technically it's for your start button. So I have one around my start button, but then I had an extra one. So, um, this kind of is like a little circle. So I put it around my, this is like my mirror adjustment. Um, so I also put one there. I also have two little flowers. I think you're supposed to be able to put scents in these, but this one and this white one over here are just for decoration. Um, but then this one, which I need to, uh, replace or, um, add more scent to is, um, one that, I'll go ahead and take it out, um, and show you guys. So, um, it actually, like, you open the clip, like so, and then this little pad thing, um, you can drop scent on it. So I'm actually gonna, like, add some more scent to that because I think it's out. All right, and then this is kind of a little bit of maybe like a Visco Girl trend from a couple of years ago. I'm way too old to be a Visco Girl, even when it was popular. But um, I was like, when I was watching some videos that were like from that time when all the girls were doing their like car decorating things, um, I was like, you know what? Uh, scrunchie actually does work really well <laughs> for gifts, you know, um, for um gear shift decoration. So I got this one, I think on Etsy, it's like pink with like gold, like arrows on it. It's really pretty. So I thought that would be really pretty for some decoration on my gear shift. Um, and then I also washed this and I need to put it back on. I'm going to put it on and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. And then this is my steering wheel cover that kind of matches the, uh, you know, scrunchy that I have on my gear shifts. Um, but it is this pale pink with little gold polka dots. I got it on Etsy. I absolutely love it, especially in the summer when the steering wheel can be crazy hot. I really like that the steering wheel is not hot. I like it soft to the touch. Um, it actually has, I don't know if you can tell, but it has these little like dot, like grip things to keep it kind of in place. I do sometimes I kind of have to like adjust it a little bit, but I really like it and it's not like the standard that you see on Amazon and I feel like it's not like over the top flashy either. I feel like it's really subtle, but very feminine and very pretty. Um, but yes, I got this from an Etsy shop, so I absolutely love that. Um, I did get a little um, decoration thing. Um, this is also from an Etsy shop and it just has my um, monogram on it with this little pink bow, looks like a little pearls and it has like a little jewel and um, here, what do you call this? Cause this is also on my keys. Um, but yeah, so it just hangs from my, um, rear view mirror. So, uh, I got that on an Etsy shop. So we'll also link that below. Um, and then I also have this thing that attaches to your visor and I'm just using it to store, um, napkins which works out really, really well because before they were just like jumbling up in my um, glove compartment, but now I can keep the napkins in there and I always have an extra napkin available to me. All right, let me show you where I put. All right, I think I need to take the lid off of this one. There it goes. Oops, I tore the decorative part. That's okay. All right, so this is just a little cylindrical tissue box that shows you that was in my trunk, and I just keep it right here in the front of my car. So I use that for tissues. I always keep extra hand sanitizer in my door right here. Okay, I also have this storage thing as well in the middle, like hangs between the passenger seat and the driver's seat, and it just attaches to the little... I don't know, what do you call those? Like the little poles for the headrest. Um, so it just attaches between. Um, I'm gonna take everything out and show you what's inside of it. 
Okay, so I'll just show you everything that's inside of this container. So first I have my sunglasses case. These are my preferred sunglasses and I just keep them in the car at all times. So, and this case is from, well, the sunglasses, I don't know if you've, you've ever been curious but sunglasses are from glasses usa i think and the case is a madewell case that i got on clearance at a madewell shop store which i have my sunglasses case i always have an extra um lit roller as well handy a brush i got this at like a tj maxx um it's just a tingle free brush this one's got little like pink and green like llamas on it um always have a brush handy always have some medicine that's easily accessible that can reach really easily um it's always helpful to have a protein snack somewhere in that's easy to access a small pair of scissors because you never know when you're going to need a pair of scissors and then i have some just um like paper mate flare pens just black ones so i just it always helps to also have pens on hand so that is all of what i have in this little middle container in between my car and i'll show you what it looks like from the back as well okay and so in the back i also have one of these hooks and i just have an umbrella hanging from it and then I, this is what the bag looks from the back and then i have another hook over there that i'm gonna hang a trash bag from all right, so I thought I'd real quick show you guys um, the scent that I have. I literally just got at the Dollar Tree, so it's just a vanilla scent. And then I just tap it on. You kind of have to like wait for it to like really come out. You kind of have to shake it a little bit. Make sure it really goes on. Wait for it to get a decent amount on it. And then you just put it back into this little container and get the thing open. Like so. And then it stays in here and then I clip it back in and then as the air blows, it gives this nice little vanilla scent. And vanilla is one of my favorite scents. It always has been. Maybe I'm basic. I love vanilla lattes. I love vanilla flavored things and I love vanilla scents. So I love... I don't like um, like florally scents as much. Like I'm more of a like <laughs> if it tastes like food, so like vanilla, cupcake, gingerbread, like all of those like food scents. Like if it tastes, if it smells sweet, that's what I like. If that makes any sense. All right. So as you guys know, I used to have a trash bag, or I normally keep a trash bag in the back seat of the car. Um, but I don't want to take up too much real estate for like luggage and my mom and my sisters. So I'm just going to hang a trash bag right here. Like just a grocery bag to put some temporary trash in until we can throw things away. Okay. So I guess the last thing I need to show you guys is the glove compartment. So in my glove compartment, I have this bag that I just got at the Dollar Tree. And I'll show you in a second what's inside of that bag. But I have some more of those antibacterial wipes. Actually, I think I have two things of antibacterial wipes in here. I have some lotion. I keep extra straws that people give me in here, as well as extra silverware. So I have some silverware in here. I also have ooh, lots of extra silverware. The only thing about stuff like this is that it does start overflowing at some point. Um, I do have an extra pair of sunglasses. These are not prescription like my others. These are just regular ones that I got at Disney World that are super cute. But I just keep an extra pair of sunglasses, either for me or for somebody else. I always keep an extra thing of hand sanitizer as a backup. I do have one of these. I think that I got this on Amazon. I have one of these, uh, you know, this like cracks open the window and then, uh, and then you also use that, you can use this right here to like cut open a seatbelt. And then, yeah, so, but this is just like an escape, like safety thing. More silverware. Like I said, I've got a thing of lotion in here. Um, this is what I keep my like important papers about my car or my um, registration in here. I have my work badge in here. The car manual is in here, 
And like I said, those like extra straws are also in here. So that is all that I keep. Okay, I thought I'd just show you guys really quick what I have in here. I have an extra lotion in here. Um, the scent is in there. An extra, this is just an extra scrunchie I got on Etsy. I have some um, dental floss plackers and extra pads. I think that's everything that I keep in this little bag here. Oh, and there's extras of those little like uh, cylinder things that you put into the, uh, the scent thing are down in here as well. But that's what I keep in this little bag that stays in my glove compartment. But yeah, so as you can tell, I absolutely adore my car. Um, and I love taking people in my car. It is, I think probably like as far as like, cause I'm not like the kind of person that wants a luxury car. So for me, like as far as Honda goes, like this is probably like my dream car because it's like the perfect blend between a sedan and an SUV. It's the perfect size. It feels really nice driving it. Um, and it's beautiful. And yeah, I love my car. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I, of course, would love to welcome you guys to the Savvy Charmed Life family. So please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I upload new videos. I upload content related to lifestyle, planners, and then just like day in my life vlogs. Um, kind of a little bit of everything that goes on in my life. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I can't wait to see you guys next time. All right. Bye.